Hi Aquarius, this is your weekly tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries Tarot. It is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign. And remember, this is an energy reading. So wherever the energy resonates in your life, please apply it. If I do an example of work, but it applies to your romance life, apply it where it resonates. This is your reading. Aquarius, this is no date. There's no dates on here. It, this video will come to you when you're ready to hear the message, when you need to hear the message. If you love hearing them fresh off the press, please subscribe to the channel and ring that notification bell so that then you will know right when I upload them. Um, I upload them every single week, uh, 12 videos a week for those of you who want to look at other videos, sun, moon, and rising sign. And there's always an extended reading that I hope that you will join me for where we go deeper and get really specific. So hopefully I'll see you there. Um, the astrology this week, and I'm going to sprinkle this entire reading with astrology. Um, we're going to go over it a little bit right now. We're going to dive into the current situation, unpacking it so that it, it's you can understand what's going on. And if a card comes out in the past, it's because the past, something in the past is impacting something that's happening now. And then we're going to cast into the future to see what's to come. So let me show you the cards. <laughs> um, the astrology is really interesting for you this week because, you know, you have both Uranus and Saturn that are impacting you. And Uranus and Saturn are in a square. So there's a lot of changes in your life. But changes in your life, this is the duality for this week, is the changes that are going on, that you, the changes that you want to make outside and the way that you want to change your community and change people's perspective. They're going to challenge how you actually feel about yourself and how you actually qualify who you are. Um, there's a level of integrity and sincerity that is going to be demanded and insisted upon. And while people are interested and willing to open up and move forward and even have conversations and consider new ideas and it's really exciting, a lot of times it's just the excitement that's attracting people. Do they really mean? Is there integrity behind the actions that they're taking or that they say they're going to take or is it just a fad? A lot of times Aquarian energy can get too caught up in fads. You know, what is popular? What's the popular thing of the moment? Instead of what's really impactful, what really matters. And that's why it's so important to remember your Saturnian energy and why I love Saturn's placements right now because Saturn is, by the end of the week, going to be sextile and Saturn is one of your ruling dignitaries and Saturn is currently in your first house, so your house of self. So it's almost like quality control within you. Am I asking anybody else to do what I'm not actually willing to do myself or haven't done myself? Am I including myself as part of the crowd, as part of the community, or am I um, just casting on them what I want to see and applying different rules to who I am. And I don't think that's what it is, but there will be a lot of checkpoints this week in terms of you catching yourself and you just sort of asking yourself those questions um, and being checked by people externally to see if this is something that you actually believe or actually feel. Um, lay a solid foundation. Well, it's on its side, isn't it? So that's not really a very solid foundation things are a little creaky creaky. It's not like the floorboards are falling out from underneath you, but there is still work to be done because there are still cracks in the integrity. And that can be definitely internal, internal or external in terms of the work or the work in process. Healing still has to be done. It's not as healthy as it could be. There is some integrity cracks that we have to watch out for. And that's what Beaver is about. This energy of just, okay, let's go to work, but let's look at the details. This is Virgo energy. Virgo is very detail oriented when it comes to the particulars of work. So there's a sense of, am I going about this daily in, in a way that that has integrity or is the workflow or the work that's risen around my momentum really um, does it it's not like that does it have the integrity that I want it to have there's some structural integrity that has been compromised here now it could have something to do with your family and we'll go into that a little bit 
in just in a second. Um, we have let spirit be your guide here, which is hawk spirit, which is zoom out and see things from a further perspective, like zoom out and allow yourself and allow yourself to just take some time to see um, everything that's going on and the full picture. Um, you could get a little bit myopic this week and that's going to not be so good, right? So there's a sense of let spirit be your guide and spirit will definitely be your guide. Um, there's a lot of beautiful energy actually in the air now, so I don't want to be too alarming. Time to collaborate and let spirit be your guide. First of all, this could imply that you're collaborating with people you normally wouldn't. Maybe they're in a foreign or something foreign is about to happen or you're expanding your business um, overseas because more people are interested in what you're doing or, or what you've done. Um, there's definitely a time to reach out and reach out to see, not reach out, reach out to see who else can I collaborate with? Are enough people working with me? That now it could also be saying that in some ways you're spreading yourself too thin. And it's not that you shouldn't be global, you should be, but there's a sense of have you maintained the integrity? Have you maintained the social or structural integrity? There's something here about the expansion and with Jupiter and all this energy in Saturn, the expansion is going to happen really quickly and you got to watch that energy because it feels really good and it feels really robust and it is, but is it going to last or is it just a huge explosion and then there's really no staying power to it and this is where this is where the challenge is this week. We have be at home, which is be close to home. Um, Jesus, I don't know if you guys are from abroad. You might be visiting sort of ancestral places where you've come from or where you've lived or where your family has come from. Maybe partnering with people from there so that there is a tether to at least the culture. And I don't know, you're, and, and you're, there's a level of comfort. But um, be at home. Oh, it's almost like make sure you feel, oh, that's it. That's it. And I want to get into this card too, but hold on. It's like make sure you feel at home. That's where you're really, it's almost like that's the testing strip for you. Do you feel good? Do you feel a level of comfort and correctness when you are in these situations? Or are you going too far outside of your comfort zone? And when I mean you, I mean even your statement, your sentiment, your project, your business. Is it really what you were saying or people taking it out of context? Now, it's one thing for people to incorporate what you've created into their own lives. It's another thing for them to misquote it and, and use it for purposes that are not what you intended it for. So you really want to do some quality control. And this is a great, great week for quality control because of Saturn's sextiles to both Venus and Mercury by the end of the week, as well as Saturn's continuous um, trine to Mars in retrograde and even square to Uranus saying that if we're going to change things, if we're going to grow things, it's got to be done fucking right and it's got to be correctly applied. So this is a really good time for you to focus in as it's as non-sexy as it may be to quality control because as you grow you also have to have the foundation steady so that you don't collapse or whatever matters to you so much doesn't collapse and that's kind of where you're at right now Aquarius is this compromised sense of or somebody misinterpreting or miscommunicating or misquoting it's not necessarily bad and I think that there is a beautiful growth that's going to be happening but it's like it's almost like your expansion didn't keep up with uh, what happened really quickly and now there's like catching up with the structure around it and so really focusing and doubling down collaborating maybe collaborating with somebody in your family let's get into what showed up in the past because it's really important this is leo energy in reverse so this has to do with the personal ego getting the best of you in the past and that's coming up now because that could be a caveat to why you're letting integrity slip right now 
no matter how much you like to not acknowledge it, you are very Leo energy. There's a lot of you that loves attention, that wants to be in the spotlight. You want to be seen as a person who saves a day for everyone. But why are you really doing it? Are you doing it because you care or are you doing it because it's an opportunity to be seen? And that's that sort of dark side of Aquarian energy. In the past, there has been something very egotistical, very driven by basically insecurities and, and weaknesses and, and vulnerabilities, which aren't necessarily weaknesses, but feeling exposed and then and and then creating arrogance or conceit on top of that to make yourself look like you have something that you don't a compromised sense of self is what we have in the past that is coming up because it is impacting the decisions that you're making the people that you're working with and the situations that you're putting yourself in this week and so once again we're coming back to quality control making sure that people have a real sense of loyalty, a real sense of connectivity to you, and that you remain connected to you. Not that anything's bad's happening. <laughs> it's that it's that quote, this is what's happening. Money doesn't re mon money doesn't make you who you are, it reveals who you are. You've heard that, right? That's kind of what it is. Success isn't making you who you are. It's revealing who you are. And one of the biggest ways sometimes to bring people down is to give them everything they've ever wanted. And so in some ways, this is a test, but it's more, it's not just, it's actually not a test, it's a reminder. Especially since Saturn is in such harmony with Mars retrograde. What have I done in the past? What missteps have I made in the past? Have I done things with integrity? completely and how am I improving upon that situation so that you can come out on the other side of this really tangibly holding on to the abundance that you've earned and being able to grow it and expand it and share it so that there is integrity there. I do think that there's just a lot of um, patch, patching up, patching up, making amends. Um, not everybody is open and receptive to who you are right now, Aquarius. Um, that doesn't mean it's a bad thing. It just means that there's still bridges that need to be built. So there is a lot of, I think, hard work that's still in front of you. What I, w what I would wish for you or hope for you is that you do not see this as a bad thing. This is actually a very, very good thing. It's a very, very good thing because what that means is that you're not going to get there too quickly, so quickly that you didn't build out correctly and you violated um you violated building codes and now there will always be structural integrity compromised you don't want that you don't want that now this is just a general reading let's get into the moon card and then we're going to get into the specifics Ooh. Ooh. moon card remember we still have what's to come hold on we have you and your loved ones are safe. So there's something to do with your family here. Family resolution, revolving things or working on things or healing. There could be something to do with health. <laughs> Excuse me. When it comes to your family, you and your loved ones are safe. New moon in cancer. So there's a sense of, of pr protection here. A sense of at least coming from you personally wanting to make sure that the family is protected or that you still maintain a sense of who you are so your roots are a secret to your success this week feeling rooted being rooted being true to yourself um, celebrating where you're from even the culture that you're from even if you have to go abroad sort of sharing from the self that is a secret to your success is to do everything from a place of integrity and truth all the time um, and 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 it comes from family somehow it's coming through family you and your loved ones are safe making sure that you haven't compromised something that really matters to you for future growth and expansion okay <laughs> let's get into this who is Aquarius dealing with what who is who are they dealing with right now the who, who page of cups 
I think this is I think that's regarding the new opportunity for you or a new seed that's been planted also a sense of maybe you are dealing with somebody that you are given a first chance to um, this could also be somebody young a younger earth sign we have two of Pentacles this is somebody who is new at this I don't know if it's describing you or them, but ultimately it's somebody who is new at whatever you're doing, at, at this business, at at what you're investing in, at um, money or these changes in your life. It's it's starting fresh. It's starting from a place of um, freshness. We have the Death card here, which is Scorpionic energy, and we have the Emperor here, which is Aries energy. This is both Mars energy. Holy shit. Let's go back. Because remember, your traditional ruling dignitary, Saturn, is trying to Mars in retrograde. This is Mars energy. So there is definitely something like a reincarnation, a complete finish and ending to begin and rise something new. Remember, this is the finish and this is the new. This is the what it takes, the energy that Mars puts into destroying something, the destructivity of of what you've done or of, of, of what's been created and then and then the newness and the freshness so you're basically yeah that's Uranus right taking down those old walls to start building new ones it's not that you wanted to leave people unprotected it's not that you wanted to leave people um, vulnerable it's that you wanted to really start from the ground up so that there would be integrity so there is a sense of a complete finish a complete ending making sure that actions in the past are like like eradicated or reconciled or whatever wasn't supposed to happen actually is done and resolved and the emperor paving way for something new a new start a new beginning um, you are, you really do care about integrity, but it's almost like there's maybe a little bit of obsession in terms of making something in the past go away. And that's really not how the past goes away. The past doesn't go away because you've hit it or buried it. The past goes away because you have used it to its full and have incorporated into lessons that you can use and apply to the future. There's something more here. Now you could be dealing with a Scorpio. You could be dealing with an Aries. These could be actually people that you're dealing with in your life. Um, Pluto. <sighs> Shoot. Two of Pentacles and Page of Pentacles. This is a fresh new start. And it's built on a lot of pain and a lot of suffering and actions that you took on that pain and suffering. And on that pain and suffering, you've turned it into an opportunity. And that's the thing. That's the caveat. That's the, uh-oh, watch out, because the ego could reel, reel its, re, rear its head. The ego could rear its head. I need to be the, the hero. I need to be the savior. I need to be seen as the person. I need to get, I, you know, like all of those things that really have nothing to do with what you have set out to do. Um, there's also a sense of, I don't know, hold on, let's get further into this. Some more cards came out. Uh, we have Eight of Swords, feeling rejected, feeling unwanted, feeling used up, feeling, okay. There's a fear here, and it's a healthy fear of moving away from the traditional, of what the reaction is going to be by the traditional, by the establishment of the traditional way of thinking or the industry that you're in. A sense of feeling almost in a sense like I wanna burn the whole fucking thing down and create a new tradition. Remember when you create new traditions, you create the future of what somebody else is gonna end up burning down. So how is it a way how is there a way then i guess you can't pre prevent that can you but this is definitely wanting to establish a new tradition based on feeling hurt and suffering so ultimately this is the thing you have to ask yourself is this about revenge or is this about renewal 
and that's definitely something that you want to because there's something here with the tower what is this tower what is this tower I think this is really shocked I think maybe this is it your level of success here has really shocked traditionalists especially ones that you had felt rejected by in the past interesting what is this tower can you explain it to me the tower is is the tower is something shocking inevitable but what is it how did it look okay stop this may not even be you it could be major arcana something that's happening outside of you somebody especially a traditional leader or something is getting kicked out and that, that has nothing to do with anybody. That, that doesn't have to do with you, your personal life, but somehow that is going to impact you and what you're doing right now. We have Knight of Swords action being taken to move away from and start something completely new. Taking action, especially against the old and finding a way to move on from that and start completely fresh. You don't want an association with somebody who kind of ruled the roost in the past walking away from them is going to be a huge challenge especially for their ego especially if this is your ego oh shit let's get into this guys let's get into this conflict and hopefully resolution we're going to go to the extended the link is below i do hope you join me and please before you go and join me on the extended head on over to the community feed and take a vote and that poll that i've posted if you are interested in joining me for that meet and greet i would love to meet you or um check in with you virtually online so uh, just go out and fill that poll up and I'm sorry guys go out and, and just find the poll on the community feed and if you're interested in participating in the meet and greet in March of 2023 that I'm putting together in Austin tell me this isn't a commitment I'm not going to get your email it's just do you think you would want to participate in person or virtually I'm trying to get a ballpark figure now let's go to the extended and if you haven't liked this video yet Please be sure to like it. I love you guys. I'll see you in the extended.